the two the two levels between subjects the three level is the within what do we want to know three things the two main effects in the interaction they're three separate effects the nulls same as they were before uh, for the two level the mean difference is zero in the population for the three level the three means are the same in the population and for the interaction the slopes are the same in the population effect size is once again partial eta squared with small, medium, and large being 1%, 6%, and 14%. F still tells you the signal-to-noise ratio. When I enter in my data into Jamovi, it's one row per participant. Participant A, they were randomly assigned to the happy condition. And they gave us data when they were young, when they were a young adult, when they were an adult, and when they were a teen. That's kind of how it is here. So I have the same data in down here that the same data in here that's down here not a big deal but one row per participant here you can kind of see the difference each participant gave us three measures so we have three numbers from them and they were in one condition this is what it looks like let's analyze it ANOVA repeated measures ANOVA we have to define our re repeated measures factor we give it a name age and then we get teen young adult and adult all right there is no second repeated measure here we have a second between subjects factor which we called condition which we can take care of right now so now i need to put the dependent variables with their correct label i got my teen my young adult and my adult labels all in the correct position I have my partial eta squared clicked i'm gonna say hey let's go ahead Let's go ahead and look, look at our results real quick. So it looks a little different. You have this um, within subjects effects. So you have anything that has a within subjects factor in it, which is our interaction and our age factor, because we measured participants three times and the interaction is also part of that. So what we see here is we have a non-significant effect of age, just like last time, and a significant interaction. Down here, we get the effect of our between subjects effects, which this is our condition, happy versus anger. So this down here represents the main effect of happy versus anger or condition. So we have a significant effect of, of condition, happy and angry are different. We do not have a significant main effect of age, and we have a significant age by condition interaction. So that's just kind of like the overview. Let's tackle age first, our main effect of age. So what I like to do first is what I always like to do is click on this estimated marginal means, click it in, and go ahead and look at my plot. For age, there appears to be no difference among the three conditions. There's a lot of variation in the adult condition. We, we're not going to get rid of that today, but we're still looking at the data. This is what we see. So now we're, we're looking at this real quick, and we're like, okay, um, cool. We're not seeing an effect there. We see we don't have a significant effect up here. If we did, it's the three level. In fact, we should run a postdoc test if we did find significance. We didn't, but I'm just going to show you what that looks like. Okay. What the postdoc result looks like. This is just, um, that's interesting. That's just due to small data right there. But we can see that there is... Um, There is no difference among any of these means. This one's this one's no different as well because these two means are basically the same. So essentially your p-value would be one here if that ever happens to you. But this is just due to poor data. But essentially, overall, when we look at these, these postdoc tests, this one's comparing teen to young adult, teen to adult, young adult to adult. We look at our p-value. If you get something weird like this, come see me. The reason why that's happening is because I'm using a small data set so we can um, just process the steps of how to get our results, okay? That's easier when you have less data, so you can see the design better. But ultimately, we need one more thing, and that is our 90% confidence interval of our eta squared, partial eta squared. In this case, which is 0 0.071, 
our F statistic is 0 0.308, and our degrees of freedom are 2 and 8. Residual is the error term for both of these effects, so 2 and 8. 0 0.308, 2 and 8. Um, I've shown you how to get this enough times. You know where to click. It's in our course website, but our F statistic is 0 0.308 with 2 and 8 degrees of freedom. We're going to see what it gives us. I'm going to click it again, see what it gives us. The NA again is zero, and the upper limit is 0.26. So the real effect, the population effect, could be anything from no effect all the way up to quite a substantial large effect. That's 26% is much higher than 14. We really know nothing about age right here. That's what our data are telling us. Main effect one of age is done. Let's go back to our results. I'm going to click in, click everything out again. I want um, the postdocs cleared out. All right, and down here for the image, I, would, I don't want to look at age anymore. I want to look at my condition just to get a, and a sense of what the data show me. We can see the anger condition leads to more political aggression than happiness. So I know that. That's the nature of that main effect. It is a significant main effect of condition. See, that's where I'm at. I'm right here. This is a significant main effect of condition with a very high partial eta squared. So that's great. There's no need for any um, follow-up test because there's only two levels. So what I need to do is take my F with 67.6 with one and four degrees of freedom. One is degrees of freedom one, four is degrees of freedom error, okay? I go ahead and click in. Sixty-seven point six. Sorry, one and four degrees of freedom. We click run. We're getting our 90% confidence interval of eta squared, which is from large to large. 0.62 is large, 0.97 is large. So we go back to our Jamovi data and we can see that um, the partial eta squared for the population is well, for our sample is 0.94. That's a large effect in our sample. In our estimate of the population partial eta squared is 0.62 to 0.97 because that's our 90% confidence interval. Now we're done with that second main effect. We have to move on to the interaction. And it's a two by three. I think it's just easiest for us to make sure that we look at the three lines because mathematically, I'm focusing on the math here, mathematically an interaction is just a test of line slopes. These slopes should look similar to you. For adults, the manipulation appeared to have no impact on their political aggression. For teens, right here, this line right here, you can see that for teens, the anger manipulation increased political aggression, very much so in comparison to the happiness manipulation. And for young adults, you have a similar pattern as teens, but a the slope's a little bit less steep, right? Like if you were on a ski hill, you're going to go faster down this one, pretty fast down this one. You're not going to move on this one at all. If you're a skier, that'll Colorado, it'll make sense. If not, you know, get a sled out. Which one's going to be faster, right? These three slopes are different. We know that from the interaction. And then what you have to do um, because it's a two by three is you do have to look at your postdoc test for the interaction. Again, we're not going to get those 90% confidence intervals. We're not going to get those 95% confidence intervals. We're not going to get Cohen's D. Um, essentially what we want to look at are three lines, two, three T tests, T tests for adults that are in the happy condition versus adults that are in the angry condition. That's our bottom one right here. And when we keep going over our p-values one, there is no difference in these means. Okay, that's it. This slope 
is non-significant. Now, if we look at teen happy versus teen anger, which is right at the top, we're gonna find that this slope is significant. That's the second one. We looked at the second line. We've done two of our three t-tests. Our third t-test we do is for young adults happy, young adults angry, which is right here. This is also a significant result. We're in, we're out. Um, we know that the slopes are different from each other. We know that this slope is essentially zero. These two are positive. Um, essentially, when we run those t-tests, we are saying this slope, there's non-significant difference between these two means. And when we're running this slope, we're saying there's a significant difference among these two means and a significant difference among these two means. Ultimately, at the end of the day, interaction is about describing these three different slopes. And this is for a two by three. For I'll talk about two by two in a second. Let's finish out our result. The one thing we do not have for the interaction is our 90% confidence interval of eta squared. We have 15.077 with two and eight degrees of freedom. That's our F statistic and our two and eight degrees of freedom. We plug it into our calculator. 15.077, two and eight degrees of freedom hit the run button. What do we get here? Remember, if you get any errors, just double click. 0.35 to 0.86. Those are both large effect sizes of partial eta squared. Okay. For, that's 35 to 86% of the variability in the DV was accounted for by the interaction. So, that is essentially everything I need to know, right? Here's the partial eta squared for the interaction, 0.78. We know that the true 90% the true confidence interval for the interaction is, like we said earlier, and I'll show you where it's coming from again, 0.35 to 0.86, so. We are now done with that analysis. What do we know just for summary? Age, there's no main effective age. The main effective condition is such that the anger manipulation increases political aggression relative to the happy manipulation. And the age by condition interactions show that adults are basically not impacted by the manipulation, but younger folks are in the way that the, ha the anger manipulation increases more political aggression for teens for young adults but not for adults right you can see that down here in all three of these lines um, essentially essentially when we're looking at these we want to break down our 90 percent confidence interval which this one was from zero to 26 so this could be no effect to a large effect we know nothing about age the interaction they were both large and the um the main effect of our condition were both large. We are done. Now, if this were a two by two, you wouldn't have to do any post talks because you would only have two slopes. They're only different in one way. And we have two means for each of the main effects. So at the end of the day for that one, we're just running our, for a two by two, we're just running this repeated measures of NOVA, getting these results and getting those 90% confidence intervals. The other thing that's important is breaking down your results. So you got to look at your picture particularly for your interaction, but you have to know the directions and so forth. But that is essentially it for the two by three mixed ANOVA and the two by two mixed ANOVA. I'm just not gonna do the two by two mixed ANOVA because there are no post hocs. So you just skip the stuff I did um, in the middle there. And you only have, with a two by two, you only have two slopes. There's only one way they can be different. That's the problem. That's the that's the way we do it so we are done now